ni imana y'ukuri kandi Yesu wacu ni we kuri kandi umwuka w'iteka ni umwuka ukuri He is a God of truth Jesus is the truth and the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth Bese tufite kwiringira ko mbere yo kucyumweru buri muntu wese uzakurikira ibihe no gusenga azahura n'Imana y'ukuri kandi Imana izagaragara nk'Imana y'ukuri Imana imwe y'insinzi kandi dasanzwe mu buzima bwacu And we believe that by the end of this week everyone will have experienced God as the only true God as a God of truth and will have received that truth within them. Ndabifuriza rero kugira ibihe byiza dusabana hamwe dusangira Imana iduhana umugisha mu izina rya Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth. And my desire is that every one of you will be blessed by the word and as we share it in the mighty name of Jesus. Rero kuri umugoro wa kumwe turavuga ko ijambo rivuga ngo Imana yacu niyo mana y'ukuri. And this evening we'll be talking about our God is the one true God. Kandi nk'Imana y'ukuri ibyanditswe dusoma ni bikurikira. And we will be reading the following verses. Nibyo bitubera urufatiro rwo gusangira ijambo ryayo. And this is going to be the foundation of us sharing his word. Yeshua gice cya kabiri umurongo wa 10 kujya 11. Isaya igice cya 44 umurongo wa 3 tukiza kuwa 8 Isaiah 44 verse 6 to 8 Isaya itanda tu na gatano umurongo wa 16 Isaiah 65 verse 16 ndetse abakorinto ba mbere 12 umurongo wa 2 And 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2 Rekadu tangira cyane cyo cyambere ari Yoshua igice cya kabiri umurongo wa 10 Let us read the first verse Joshua chapter 2 verse 10 to 11. Biravuga ngo kuko twumvise uburyo witeka yakamije inyanja itukura muyigezeho nuva muva muri Egiputa nibyo mwagiriye abami bombi baba Mori no hakurya Jordan Sihoni na Ogi abo mwarimbuye rwose. We have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt and what you did to Sihon and Og the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan whom you completely destroyed. Tumenarimwe tubyumvise uwo mwanya imitima yacu ishyubwoba nta muntu numwe mutakuye umutima kuko witeka Imana yanyu ndashaka kujya mu ritondera witeka Imana yanyu ari yo mana yo hejuru mwijuru no hasi mwisi when we heard of it our hearts melted in fear and everyone's courage failed because of you i want you to take note of this word for the lord your god is god in heaven and above and on the earth below ndasubira mwa yamagambo uwiteka imana yanyu niyo mana yo hejuru mwijuru no hasi mwisi I want to repeat these words for the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on the earth below. Ndifuza ko abantu bakubona nabakuze bakuvuga aho yamagambo bavuga ngo Imana yawe niyo mana hejuru mu ijuru no hasi mu isi. My desire is that whoever looks at you will say that your God is the God in heaven above and on the earth below. Ndasaba ngo wowe unkurikira wese rwose hejuru bavuge ngo Imana yawe pana Imana rusanja pana Imana idasobanutse Imana yawe niyo mana yonyine ni Imana itavangiye ni Imana itari indi ma zindi ma imwe rukumbi hejuru mu ijuru no hasi kwisi I pray that whoever looks at you will say that your God is the only true God. Your God is not an idol. Your God is the only God in heaven above and on earth. Aya magambo yavuzwe no mudamu umunyamahanga kazi utari no mu Israeli witwa Rahab. These words were spoken by a foreigner who was not an Israelite who is Rahab. Yari yara yakiriye abatasi ba boherwe na Yoshua. She had received the spies that were sent by Joshua. Arabakira arababwira ati rwose hari cyo mutazi. Twamvishije inkuru y'Imana yanyu. Twumvishije uburyo Imana yanyu hakurya yakamije inyanja ya Egiputa. 
twumvisha ayo makuru twumvishe ni inkuru buryo mutayo mwamaze aho abandi bakomeye muri abatsemba ibyo makuru yatugezeho and she told the spies that we heard of you we heard how your god dried up the sea we heard what your god did in the wilderness we know how you completely destroyed your enemies sicyo gusa rero tumaze kumva makuru y'uburyo imana yanyu yabanye ntamo uburyo imana yanyu yabatabaye uburyo imana yarwanye urugamba uburyo imana yanyu yakamija inyanja uburyo imana yakoze ibitangaza byatugezeho dushye ubwoba twese turatitira bo ngo bo ntawe gifite umutima hamwe and that was not it all after hearing about how your god dried the, the sea how he delivered you how he rescued you how he fought all your battles we were scared and our courage failed duko kumutima tumenya ko utundi tumana mana tugirwa mana rwose ntabwo dukwiriye kwitwa imana ahubwo imana ni imana yanyu kane ni yindi imana imwe mwe juru no hasi kwise hallelujah and we melted in fear and now we despise all the other idols and we believe that your god is the only true god rero ubwo batwahiye ubwo batwahiye ubwo batwese imitima yaba yamazi bitugaragariza ko iki gihugu witeka kibahaye kuko ibyo yakoze nta kimubuza kongera kubikora niyo mpamvu yani bagaho niyo mpamvu mbakiriye kuko nda bizi neza ko imana yanyu ya mana imwe rukumbi imana iri mu ijuru yonyine itageze itasangiye ubumana nindi nundi muntu cyangwa se nikindi kintu ndabizi ko niki gihugu nacyo yakibahaye mwe nibagamba ndashaka kuba part of it ndashaka gusabana namwe and the reason we melted in fear is because we believe that god has already given you this land and this is the reason i have received you so that i will be able to partake of the land that your god who is in heaven is able to give you and we believe he has already given you icyo kigaragaza ko utumana kigirwa mana nibyitwa imana byaba byinshi ariko by the end imana nimwe rukumbi mwe hejuru mwe juru no hasi mwese and therefore this shows us that there are so many things that may be called god but all these are idols the only true god is our god who is in heaven tugomba kubimenya twebwe cyane cyane ababiti abayitiriwe tukabitsikamiraho tukabitangaza tukanitwara nk'abafite imana nzima imana imwe rukumbi yonyine kwiye kwitwa imana mu ijuru no mu isi and therefore we are supposed to live according to that we are supposed to believe in it and also walk as though we have the one true god the next verse is in first kings chapter 18 verse 36 through 39 bibiliya Uiteka imana ya Abraham na Isaka na Israel uyu munsi bimenyekane ko ari wowe mana wowe mana mu Israel kandi ko ndo mugaragu wawe nkaba nkozi ibyo byose kubwe ijambo ryawe at the time of sacrifice the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed Lord the God of Abraham Isaac and Israel let it be known today that you were God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things at your command Nyumvira uwiteka nyumvira kugira ngo aba bantu bamenye ko ari wowe mana kandi ko ari wowe ugarura imitima yabo Answer me Lord answer me so these people will know that you Lord are God and that you are turning their hearts back again O mwanya umuriro witeka uramanuka utwika igitambo cyoswa n'inkwi namabuye no mukungugu ukamya amazi yari mu ruhavu yose then the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice the wood the stones and the soil and also leaked up the water in the trench mazabantu bose babibonye bikubita hasi bubamye haleluya baravuga bati uwiteka niwe mana 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 when all the people saw this they fell prostrate and cried the lord he is god the lord he is god the lord he is god mazabantu bose babibonye bikubita hasi bo bamye baravuga bati witeka niwe mana witeka niwe mana 
When all the people saw this, they fell prostrate and cried, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. And I 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 this prophet, the prophet of God, prophet Elijah, lived at a time when very many people were confused. They were living at a time when there were many idols. Confusion. Just like a time as this, when people are so confused, they have mixed up with the world, they do not know the true God, they are confused at who to believe and what not to believe. <laughs> And Eli the prophet Elijah told King Ahab that there will, not be, there will not be any rain unless at my word. And God was able to hear him and there was no rain. And three and three, three and a half years after, Elijah went and had met face to face with King Ahab, and that is when he told him to bring all the prophets of Baal, and he will face them, and Baal, if Baal is to be called God, then let him be called God, but if God of the God of heaven is to be called God, let it be known. Muyani magambo, imana yukuri igaragari, imana yukuri ibonechi, imana yukuri yitandu kanyeni nyibijiru kwa mana, abandu wa menye imana yariyo. So that the true God will prove himself and people will get to know who the true God is and who the idol is. Then Elijah, the prophet of God, standing on his own with the prophets of Baal and Asherah facing him, 400 prophets, then they brought the sacrifice and Elijah said, do not put fire upon the sacrifice, let the true God bring the fire from from wherever he is and consume the sacrifice abahanuzi babal na shera baratangira bari kunanga barahamagara barahamagara ntajwe nta kunyeganyega nta muri ro nta gusubizwa yaye babikora hafu umunsi wose nta kigenda geraho naho abakina ku mubyimba arabwira ati ubanze imana yanyu yasinziriye cyangwa sara handi yaganye rwose mukomeze kwihamagara bari temagura bava maraso ariko nta kigenda Tajwi, Takunyaganyaga, Tajisubis, Kukumus, we take a Bugaragari, Tajisubamana Chagaragara. Then the prophets of Baal and Asherah cried and called upon their God, but there was no sign of answer. They wept, they cut themselves until the prophet Elijah started to tease them and say, Maybe your God is asleep. But they continued not until there was no answer, because the day that the true God is supposed to show himself, there can be no sign of the idol speaking. <laughs> Gusani Gichaniro, Amaze Gusani Gichaniro, and Namabu Chuminabiri, Ario, Bagaricia, Omoko Chuminabiri, Israeli, Amazo Gusani Gichaniro, Asabakuba Sukamazi, Ogamazi, Machiavarofite, Hanyuma, Uzukamaza, the Fashumura Hogara, Zimia, Arachukumura, Hanyuma, Asirahiji Tambo, Asirahimui, Hanyumarero, Atakambiro, we take. 
But at the time of the sacrifice, then Elijah went close to the, to the altar where the sacrifice was, and he asked them to pour water upon the sacrifice, which you know that the water does not help the fire. Instead, it consumes the fire. But he asked that they pour water until he called the fire from heaven. <laughs> Onyomvire kujira nguwa abandu wa minye kwa rewe maana. Onyomvire kujira nguwa yomonsi ugariri mitima ya abu kuri wawwe. And then he started to call on the name of the Lord and asking God to answer him that the people will know that he is the only true God and their hearts will be turned to him back again. Iyo mwejuna ni habu ya muti ndiye ajitakamba umuru wa manu kufa mwejuru. Namba wano tukui kingui, tukui kibitambo, tukui kamabuye, ukonje za ya mazi, tukui kijitaka, uruwa kwa taru umuru uchina, haba nubabi bonyerero, bafuka ya magamu njie kufuga. And then the God of heaven did not delay, he did not tarry. Instead, he sent fire from heaven and consumed the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil. And when all the people saw this, this is when they said the words I'm about to say. Yivanje mubjawe, igutabare, maza bakubona, baguchiba vuku yungu, uiteka ni emana, uiteka ni emabiku bisasi babo nye emana yao. Hallelujah. And all the people fell down prostrate and cried, the Lord, he is God, the Lord, he is God. My prayer is that God, you will see him in whatever situation, he will intervene in your circumstances, so that whoever sees you will fall down and say, the Lord, he is God. Igusubiri shumuriro. Utaruwa baano, ugusubiri shi jisubi zo kufa mngejuru, ugusubiri shi bitei ugova, ugusubiri shi jita angaje, ari kuna nani, haba kureba, haba kuzond, haba rihaf, biku bite has, barami imana yawe, yewe nabata izi, nabata isenga, nabata izi, nabata jize bati, biku bite has, bafuja ya magambo, uiteka imana ya, niyo mana, uiteka imana ya, niwe mana, uiteka imana ya masasu, niyo mana, uiteka imana ya, niyo mana, uiteka imana yawe, niyo mana, May he answer you by fire and not just the fire of men but his own fire so that everyone around you will start to say that the Lord of so and so he is God. Bircho izawa igaraga ingi mana yukuri changwa si mana nyamana itavanje changwa si mana itarichijirgo mana. And then that way he will reveal himself as the only true God who is not an idol. Psalms chapter 31 verse 5. Into thine hand I commit my spirit, O God, my Redeemer, O Lord God of truth, O God of faith. The writer of this psalm calls upon God and says that into thine hand I commit my spirit, my redeemer, O Lord God of truth. Kandu zansubiza, kukuri imana, nyamana. Ariko na handi na tango bujengo guanje. Ni mwabiganza abja ni homba sise. Mana yukuri, ni owa nchunguye, ni oza nchungura, ni oza nhabara. In other words, he is calling unto God, saying, because you are the only true God, you are the God of truth, you are the faithful God, into your hands I commit my spirit. You alone can deliver me, you alone can rescue me. As Isaiah inenakane, munawakatana tukujia kwa munane, barafango, uiteki mana Israeli, uitkuko, uiteki mana wa Israeli, uiteka nyiringawo, umuchungu ziwe, aravugati. Ndu wa mbere kane ndu wimheruka kandi ha yindi mana ibaho itarinje. This is what the Lord says, Israel's King and Redeemer, the Lord Almighty. I am the first and I am the last. Apart from me there is no other God. Urumbako na yubgayo iri ivuga kandi raviku irie. Iravuga ti ninje wa mbere ni nanje uheruka kandi ha yindi mana ibaho rgoz itarinje. 
this is God talking about himself, and he is worthy to say this, that he is the first and the last, and apart from him there is no other God. Some people start, but they don't end. Some come in the middle, but they don't end. There are some who come at the end, but who did not start. But our God is the first and the last. He is the beginning and the end. Alpha, beta, gamma, omega. He is Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Omega. He is the God above all times. There is no other God. Verse 7. Verse 7. Kuza nibizabaho nabivuze mwa mugani niba bivuje cyangwa se niba tinye kibahanure ibizaba nimba bari imana Verse 7 Who then is like me let him proclaim it let him declare and lay out before me what has happened since I established my ancient people and what is yet to come yes let them foretell what will come Umurongo wa 8 Mwe kugira ubwoba ngo mutinye kera sinabikubwiye nkabigaragaza namwe murabaga bwo kumpamya hariho indi mana ibaho itari nge niko ko nta kindi gitare ubwange sinkize Verse 8, do not tremble, do not be afraid. Did I not proclaim this and foretell it long ago? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? No, there is no other rock. I know not one. Chichandisko chanyu matribu some, chirimuri ensaya itandatu na gata na murungu wachumi na gata andatu. The last verse we will read is in Isaiah 65 verse 16. Ichiba anzirizi chanyu mawa mugani. It is the second last. Barangongo mazo umunsi ushaka umujisha, aha, asa usabi mana yukuri ije jamu ni jagua imana yukuri, nuo mwe siwara urahira asa rahiri imana yukuri kuko imiba baro ya chera iba jirani iba iga iga hishwa amaso yange. Whoever invokes a blessing in the land will do so by the one true God. I want you to highlight one true God. Whoever takes an oath in the land will swear by the one true God. For the past troubles will be forgotten and hidden from my eyes. I like this line so much. It talks about whoever desires a blessing, let them desire to be blessed by the only true God. In other words, just like you, people decide to have a personal doctor, a personal assistant, a personal driver, you can also decide to have God, the only true God, as the only one who can bless you. The Bible says that whoever invokes a blessing, or in other words, whoever desires to be blessed, will has to desire that this blessing will be given by the only true God. In other words, whoever desires a wife, a husband, a marriage, 
children, land, whatever you may desire, you should desire that it will be given to you by God because he alone gives a blessing that sorrow does not follow. Kuko uwo uwiteka ni watanga umugisha wuzuye wa mugani impano y'isikwiriva mu ijuru kuri mana data so rero muzifuze guhaba umukene uwiteka ikizatuma umugisha we waruga mwiza wuzuye nuko yo mana ari mana yukuri in other words, you should desire his perfect blessing, his perfect gift, because the word says that every good and perfect gift comes from him. So he alone, the one true God, is able to give you a blessing. The last ver scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. It says, you know that when you were pagan, somehow or other, you were influenced and led astray to mute idols. In other words, before you believed, while you were yet pagans, you followed idols. And what shows that they were idols is because they were mute, they were not able to speak. Because the only true God, the one true God, is the one that speaks, he's the one that moves. The idols, they speak on their behalf. Let us take lessons from these uh, points that we can take today. Changwa umni merere wichinu, uhuza nu kochi vugwa, changwa nu kochi gara gara, wa mugani ntagu kabja hanogu pobje. This is how I try to describe the truth. The truth is the way the nature or originality of something is related to its description without being exaggerated or understated. Definition Naji and Naji and Nagu Guye, Nazungurse, and a dictionary, Nazungurse, Nasanze goes a definition Kuri in any Yavan, Varugan Gukuri, no Burjo Gukuri Kivin, Okuri, Besoga Sanga definition Kuri, Yavan Yavan and Yepe, Nareva Muri Vian Dariva, Nsanga, Nanjan Jerajeza Quijan and Yangovas and Shachish, Sango Kuri, Haru Burjo Ichin, Chango Mon, Avuga, Harino Burjo Abames, Nero Guhuza Jombi. Ishusho, igaraga za description wa mugani na reality yayo uburyo bihuye niko kuri I try to look around for the definition of the truth even through di different dictionaries but I couldn't find it this is how I try to to define truth because the truth is actually the way something is described and its real self or its nature that connection is what truth is Yo vuze chenu harubu soba anuro changwa se sinifye wa mugani harini ji soba anuwe areyo sinifye hagati hari sinifikasyo changwa se ubu soba anuro no kufuga ngo hari ji soba anuro urujero ya vuze ngo masasu na magambo kusa soba anuro chariko masasu sinje kusa hari letiga kuhundi na wakutu kwa masasu right no ni changwa se yoshua ni jigurucho e wizina rero no ubu soba anuro ni description Ariko wa muntu bavuze wa mugabo uhagaza hanga wa magura abiri wa wundi w'inzobe wa hari cyangwa se wa masoso gutyo wa wundi apostle masaso wa wundi gutyo uwo niwe usobanura rero ukuri ni uburyo uko ubusobanuro batanze buri letting direct kuri wa wundi nyawe nta gukabya cyangwa nta gupfubye so when you're trying to say the truth, for example, when you say the name of a person, you are trying to describe that person, but the name is not the true description of the person, because when you try to talk about the nature of this person, then you're going to 
to talk about the characteristics and everything to do with this person. So the truth is bringing together the nature or originality of something, linking them together with the description and without being exaggerated or understated, that is what the truth is. <laughs> So description the so a lie is, is the opposite of the truth, which is when you understate something or exaggerate it such that the relationship between the nature of something and the description of something is lost. So when we talk about God being the only true God and we forget that he is the everlasting God, he is the almighty, he is omnipresent, he is omniscient, and then we... we we don't talk about an idol, then that way we are talking about a lie. So say if we say the the God is the only true God implies that he is the one true God or the authentic authentic God and he is not an idol. In other words, if he has all the characteristics or the nature of God, then he is the true God. And if it's not that way, then that is an idol. Ariko hindi definition twafata y'Imana yo kuri neye. Ni imana ifite ukuri cyangwa ihagaze mu kuri ikanagushigikira no kuvuga ko muri kamere yayo nta kinyoma kirimo He is the god that holds the truth or stands in the truth or supports the truth this means that there is no single life found in his nature Muyane magambo imana yuvuga ngo imana yukuri ba bisobanuye ngo ni imana ifite ukuri ni imana ihagaze mu kuri ni imana ishikira ukuri ni imana mbese kamere yayo umwemere ya nukuri gusa nta kindi kirimo in other words when you say god is a god of truth we say we mean that he holds the truth he stands for the truth and he encourages and supports the truth and in him there is no lie ibundi busobanuro bwo kuvuga ngo imana yukuri no nuko bisobanuye ngo ni imana iri mu ruhande gukuri cyangwa se abanyakuri ikanga ikinyomo runuka wa mugande abanyabinyomo muyane maga ni imana iri mu ruhande rw'ukuri no muyane ni imana isikira abanyakuri cyangwa sikira ukuri hanyuma rero ikanga ikinyoma urunuka ko nta wahuriye Another implication is that he is the God that takes the side of the truth and the side of the truthful people. He passionately hates lies and those who tell lies. I try to define what the truth means. In other words, the truth is the nature or originality of something or someone, how they are described, how they appear, in relation to how they truly are, without being exaggerated or understated. It is giving light to something that is truly light. Imana yukuri na yona tuwa busawa na gute. Na ifi tu busawa na robu tatu. The only true God is the God of truth and this is how I'm going to describe. So ni imana, nyamana, imana imge mukuri wa mugani itano kanyini bijiru kwa maana. He is the one true God or the authentic God and he is not an idol. Ichaka vili, ni imana ifi tukuri 
ishigikira ukuri ihagaze mu kuri mbese muri yo muri kamere yayo nta kinyoma kirimo and secondly he is the god that holds the truth he stands in truth he encourages truth and in him there is no lie tegata tu ni imana iri muri side y'ukuri nabanyakuri ikaba yangurunuka abari mu side y'ikinyoma n'ikinyoma ubwayo mbese nta huriro rihari and thirdly he is a god who takes the side of the truth and the side of truthful people and he passionately hates lies and therefore he also hates those who tell lies inyingo ya gatatu cyo gusangira mu goroba nuko imirimo y'uwiteka mu buzima bw'abana b'abantu igaragaza ku witeka imana ya Abraham na Isaka na Yakobo na Israel imana ya Biblia Imana yabahanuzi imana ya Yesu Kristo imana y'intumwa nyuma ya Yesu Kristo imana yaba kore imana ariyo mana yukuri itarishyirwa mana In the third point the works of God in the lives of the sons of men show that the Lord God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob the God that the Bible reveals to us is the one true God and he is not an idol Muyani magambo imana igaragara nk'imana yukuri kubwe imirimo yukuri hambaye ikora In other words, the one true God is revealed through the works he does for men. Kuvuga ngo Imana yacu ni Imana yo kunukuba ngo ni Imana imirimo ivugira ivuganira mbese ni Imana idakeneye imirimo yayo irahagijira yivugira ivugira ivuganira wa mugani mu buzima bw'abayo uyibona ubone iyo mirimo avuga ati Imana ni yo Imana yo kuri koko ntabwe ivangiye In other words when we look at the works of God among his people his works speak on his behalf we are able to see what he does in his children in his people and we can tell that he is the only true God Koko ababoni yo mirimo nibo bavuga bati mbega imana yukuri cyangwa se iyi niyo mana nyamana niyo mpamvu Rahabu yayivuza cyo niyo mpamvu abisiraheli kubusozi wa Karmel bayivuze baryo niyo mpamvu na bukondenesa yayivuze aryo nabandi babonye imana batarabizera ariko bikubitaza bavuga ati twabonye imirimo y'imana iyo mana niyo mana yukuri In other words through the works that we see him do for his people or his children we are able to say that oh what a mighty god that is why Rahab was was able to say the same and the children of Israel at the, the mountain of Car- Carmel were able to say the same even those who did not believe in him were able to say the same just by seeing his works ndasaba rero uyu mugoroba kandi ndizera neza ndasaba ko muri iminsi muri iki cyumweru turi kumwe na ni minsi yose minsi mirongo ine ah bazabona imirimo y'Imana yawe bazabona imirimo y'Imana yawe bazabona imirimo y'Imana bitume bavuga ngo Imana ya niyo mana yukuri niyo mana yukuri And that is why I pray that this week even these 40 days that the works of God will be visible in your life so that everyone that looks at you will be able to say that the God of so and so is the only true God. Bitangira gukoreka uyu munsi apanejo uyu munsi batangira kubona imirimo ihamba y'Imana ivuganira Imana yemeza abantu bamenye ku Imana ya Abraham ya Isaka ya Israel Imana ya Bibiliya Imana wizeye niyo mana yonyene hejuru mu ijuru no mu isi mu isi kuko bayibonye nimirimo yayo yayivuganiye yemeza ko ari imana yukuri haleluya and let it start now not tomorrow let his works be seen and let his works convince everyone that he is the only true god the god that you believed in the god who is in heaven and who is on earth is the only true god kuko ntambara gatutse kwivuganira ariko imirimo yayo yakwivugene ubwayo We do not have enough power to speak on his behalf but his works speak on his behalf. Beki mirimo y'Imana ubuzima bwa ivugira Imana izamura Imana igaragaza Imana ivuganira Imana yemeze na rubanda ko Imana usenga tari kidigwa Imana bayibone nawe ikirano kire mu izina rya Yesu Kristo Nazareth. Let the works of God in your life reveal that God is the only true God. Let them convict, let them convince everyone around you that the god you serve the god you believed the god you are praying to is the only true god ingingo ya nyuma turangirizaho nuko uwiteka niwe mana yukuri dukwiye kwizera mu kuri wa mugare dukesha ubutabazi nyabwo no kugendera mu kuri kwayo 
kuzuye. The last point, the everlasting God is the true God that we ought to truly have faith in, which we owe to his genuine rescue and walk in his complete truth. In other words, genuine rescue comes from God, not fake rescue. That is why the Bible says that whoever desires to have a blessing, let them desire that the blessing comes from the one true God. That we believe in him and focus unto him and let us walk in his ways. Looking up to him, him who lives in truth, who dwells in truth, and who is able to give everything in truth. Let us humble ourselves as we pray. God of our salvation and our refuge. God of truth. The only true God. The only true God, God of truth. The God who dwells in heaven and is God in heaven and on earth. A God who is not, who cannot be changed by times and seasons. God who is mighty in power, who is able to answer his children by fire and As we start these 40 days, we declare that you are the only true God. We declare that we will see your works in us, that we will reveal that you are God. You do not need a spokesperson, you do not need help, you do not need rescue. Your works are able to speak on your behalf and let them speak on your behalf that we will see your works be done in us. You are a God who did not change those who saw you part the Red Sea, those who saw you in the wilderness provide manna for them, those who saw you part the river Jordan are able to see you even today. We are able to see your mighty works. We receive extraordinary miracles be done in our lives that whoever sees them will be bowed down and say that the Lord, he is God, the Lord, he is God. We pray, Father, that you will be, we will be able to walk in your truth, even giving ourselves wholeheartedly. Keep us from the enemy because he fights us and he is the father of lies as the God of truth. Let your faith continue to grow in us as you help us to fully rely on you, fully attach ourselves to you in the name of Jesus. Because you alone gives genuine rescue and deliverance. Because your answers are the only true and genuine answers that we need. 
no kuduherekeza muri rugendo uyu musozi tuzamutse tuzawuzamuka neza tuzakomeza mu neza tuzawumanuka neza ndetse tubonye imirimo ya myiza mu izina rya Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth amen and thank you for going with us as we climbed this as we climb this mountain we believe that we will come down again well with you and you will be with us throughout in the name of Jesus amina kanda amina kanda amina kanda amina amen and amen and amen and amen thank you